Hi guys, welcome back to Ricola, AKA Crystal's Crochet and Stuff. I am Crystal. Sorry for the glare on my glasses. I just have my computer screen on so I can say the name of the designer and everything properly. Um, okay, so I'm here today with um, to show you a pattern that I worked on that was a pattern test for Journey, Cro Journey Chanel Designs. And the designer name is Anastasia Smith. Um, I have done a, quite a few patterns for her. She is a wonderful designer. She has a lot of awesome patterns. Um, this is probably the fifth one I've done for her. Um, so this one is called the Whistler Bomber Jacket. Um, so it's meant to be a jacket, not a sweater. So it's, it is quite large. I'm going to talk about that in a second, show you it a little bit better. I just wanted to first tell you what I used and how much I used so you guys will have a better idea. It's the biggest size, which I think is a 3X, 4X or something like that. Uh, I don't have the pattern in front of me because it's upstairs. Um, I think it was a three, it might be a 4X, I'm not 100% sure. So anywho, the blue I used was um, Burnett Premium in color Royal Blue. And I used a total of 2,000... 520 yards of yarn now in for her pattern she also gives you the option of just using a five bulky yarn or holding two strands of medium worsted weight four now I am on a yarn band so I did not want to buy any yarn to make this project so what I did was I had been working on a Toronto Maple Leaf bobble blanket and I just never did it never finished it so I had bought all the yarn for that blanket last year. So I had all of it sitting there and I said, you know what, I'm not gonna end up doing that. So I took all those balls and I had enough to make this sweater. So that's what I used. And then this is, um, what do you call that? Uh, Lion brand, go for faux or faux fur or whatever the heck their brand is. A friend of mine actually had a, uh, a skein of it. I didn't have any. And um, this is like a, it's like a light blue hue uh, of fur. So it's not white. It may look white, but it's got a blue tint to it. So um, I don't have the ball band for it because she gave it to me and it had been used for something. I don't know. There wasn't much missing out of the ball. At least I don't think so. I don't know how big they come, but there was a lot. It was enough for me to do the whole thing. So that is what I did with that. That's the yarn I used. Um, the pattern will be available for purchase tomorrow. And she has an Etsy shop. I will link it down below. Um, again, her name is Journey Chanel Designs, all one word on Etsy. Um, she's also on Instagram, same name on Instagram. Um, I will try to link that too down below. So without further ado, I'm gonna stand back and I'm gonna show you guys the full look at this. I have it on my Instagram and pictures. So there is supposed to be buttons on this side there are buttonholes, if I can find, there we go. There's one, one buttonhole, and then another one here, and so on and so forth. I put five. So I just didn't have five buttons that matched. So it's missing buttons until I get buttons. But as you can see, it's about this much, too big on each side. So I probably could have done a size smaller but this is the sweater, the one I tested for, so that's what I did. Now my sleeves are puckering a lot and puffing. Um, they only started doing that once I put the cuff on. Before that, it wasn't. They looked nice and they were fine. So I don't know if maybe my tension maybe made it do that. And they probably could have gone a little longer. Like I probably should have went a bit longer, but I was like. I won't lie, at that point I was kind of over it because it, this was a lot of crocheting. This was a ton of work and with working a lot of hours, it was a lot of work. So I do love the pattern. It was all worked in one, It like it, you do the bottom cuff and you do it the whole thing for the whole width of the sweater. So it's all crocheted on one piece, it is not sewn. Like you don't have three separate panels, it's all done together. Yes, there's sewing, but it's not like you have to attach the pieces. They're all attached, you just have to sew it up. And then the sleeves are crocheted right onto it, so that helps. And then the cup or the hoods crocheted right onto the sweater. 
So for those of you who want to do like a one piece kind of thing, it's all attached together. It's also crocheted together. So you don't have to do like panels and then sew them all separately. So that was kind of nice. So that's what that looks like on the front. I'm gonna try to come in a little so you guys can really see. Sorry, I'm trying to see if you guys can see it. But you can see the nice design on the back. That was a nine row repeat, which turned out to be very lovely. I love the pattern on the back. I would actually like a sweater that's not a button up sweater to have this whole pattern all the way around it. That would be awesome. So that's what that is, that's what that looks like. And then the hood, is actually really really nice comfy warm and again all done onto the sweater so you don't have to sew and then I'm trying to get you guys see the how thick that is of the hood so it's actually really really cool really really warm it is super warm now for those who know me know I don't ever wear anything super warm even when this is made to be a jacket. This would be really heavy for me to wear as a jacket. Unfortunately, I was gonna, I was gonna put this into um, the make along that Hannah from the Cozy Cottage for classics, but I know for a fact I'm never gonna wear it because it's so heavy. It's gorgeous. I love the color. I love the fur. I love the design on the back. I would recommend this to anyone who likes to be warm. Um, myself, I sweat in the winter, so something this thick and warm is not going to work quite for me. And I don't know too many people that I can donate this to because the sleeves are not really made for just anyone. They're kind of made for my short, <laughs> my short arms. I am only five foot four, so my arms are very short. So it's not made for everybody. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I do have to sew the buttons on to finish it and then take a picture of it with the buttons, but it is really, really warm. Like if you're cold, this is a pattern for you because this is such a nice, warm, heavy jacket. Um, I love the fur. I actually told her I wish that instead of having this, if it would have been like, you know, tapered more of a sleeve and then have the faux fur as the cuff, I think that would have been awesome and you still do it. It's up to the person, right? I think that's what I would have preferred to do is just do the faux fur cuff and have it more loose and open. But like I said, she was a pattern test. So I did the pattern exactly to how she designed it. And she's an amazing designer. So I love this. I would definitely recommend this to anyone. I am sweating because it is heavy and warm. So all, all over, a little, if I could talk, all in all, I love the pattern. I think it's beautiful. Um... I won't be making another one because it's too thick. If I was to, if she had to release something similar to this, but a light one, like for a sweater, not a jacket, with the same pattern, totally, I'd be all over it. Cause it was fun to make and it was easy. It was easy. The whole pattern was really easy. Once you get the repeat done on the back, you just repeat that and then it's easy, easy peasy. Um, all right, so that's why I came today. That's why I'm on here. That's why I'm filming so I could show you guys this. It will be released today is what? Today is February 6th and it is a Thursday. Tomorrow is a little Friday, <laughs> February 7th. That is when she will um, officially be releasing the pattern. I will link her YouTube down below or YouTube, not YouTube, her Etsy shop down below. And I will try to find her on Instagram and tag her too and to this video so that she can see it and that you guys can find her on Instagram and like her and follow her because she has a lot of incredible sweaters. Um, she has dresses, she has vests, she has a lot of awesome patterns. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching me babble for 10 minutes. Um, I will hopefully be doing another video just to show you guys what I'm up to, what I've been doing, other crochet projects I have on the go. And I'll show you my new craft room where I can close the door so the cats can't attack my arm. Um, all right, until next time, have a wonderful day, everyone, and we'll talk again soon.